how to send channel messages in discord for new invitees created in calendly so here i am going to set an automation in calendly and discord in such a way that whenever any new invitees created into your calendly account the same invitee details will be sent to your team automatically on discord yes it is possible so if you also want to sync your invitee details with the discord channel automatically then come with me and i will show you everything step by step Now to automate this process firstly I am going to connect Calendly with the Discord application with the help of Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation software and since I am an existing user of Pabli Connect here you can notice I am already logged in you can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test this automation now after reaching out to the dashboard firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have provided basically i have pasted the name as send channel invitee i'm sorry send calendly invitee to discord channel okay now click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens and action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this try to understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customers okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here according to our use case whenever any new invitee is created into the calendly application then automatically send these invitee details into the discord application okay so let me search for the discord in the action application so after selecting both the application in the trigger and the action window now i am going to connect both the applications with the pabli connect one by one okay so firstly i will select the trigger even that is whenever any new invitee is created in calendly this automation should trigger okay so simply click on connect click on add new connection then click on connect with calendly and then you will have to provide the access of your calendly account okay i am already logged in into the calendly here you can notice so that is why the authorization is successful i'm sorry the authorization is successful and my calendly application is connected with the pabli connect and as soon as you will connect your calendly account the organization link will be added here automatically and it will also show you the number of user basically whatever the user you have in your calendly account that will be visible here now you will have to click on this button that is save and send test request and then you will notice that it will start waiting for the response okay all right so it is waiting for the response which means it is actually waiting for the new invite creation into the calendly okay so how about i open this booking page in front of you and then as a dummy user i am going to book this event with some dummy details so that an invite will be created into the calendly account okay and after that you will notice that how the details will be sent to, will be captured via pabli connect okay so i have selected the timing as 10:30 okay astrology consultation online let me provide the name of the person something like demo user now it is asking for the email address of the person let me also provide the dummy email address something like demo at the rate pablitudes.com asking for the phone number so again i am going to provide a dummy phone number only that is a 10 digit dummy number okay so i think i have provided all the details now i am going to click on the schedule event button and you will notice that as soon as i will click on that button as soon as the invite is created the details will be captured via pabli connect okay so waiting for the response to be received here and here you can notice that the response is received okay if i will show you the details one by one so here we have the created date here we have the same email address here we have the name of the person the phone number of the person and we even have the time zone we even have the updated date let me also show you the name of the uh, event that is astrology consultation timing we even have the start timing that is 5 now why it is showing the timing as the 5 pm however we have selected the timing as 
टेन थर्टी टू इलेवन एम बिकॉज इट हैज कैप्चर द टाइमिंग इन टू द यू टी सी फॉर्मैट डोंट वरी वी कैन कन्वर्ट दिस टाइमिंग इन टू द नॉर्मल एशिया एंड कोलकाता टाइमिंग एंड देन यू विल बी एबल टू सी द सेम टाइमिंग विच वी हैव सिलेक्टेड एट द टाइम ऑफ बुकिंग ओके सो आई थिंक द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस डेटा क्लियरली शोज दैट द कनेक्शन इन बिटवीन पैबली कनेक्ट एंड कैलेंडली अकाउंट इज वर्किंग एब्सोल्यूटली फाइन ओके एंड नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू सेंड दीज इन्वाइटेड डिटेल्स टू माई टीम ऑन डिस्कॉर्ड चैनल ओके सो इन द एक्शन इवेंट फर्स्टली आई विल सिलेक्ट दिस सेंड चैनल मैसेज ओके क्लिकिंग ऑन कनेक्ट एंड हेयर यू कैन सी इट हैज कनेक्टेड इमीडिएटली बिकॉज आई एम ऑलरेडी लॉगड इन इन टू द डिस्कॉर्ड एप्लीकेशन ओके एंड नाउ इट इज आस्किंग द वेब बुक यू आर सो यू कैन विजिट दिस पर्टिकुलर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एंड रीड एवरीथिंग दैट हाउ यू कैन गेट दिस वेब बुक यू आर एल ओके सो लेट मी शो यू दिस इज माई डिस्कॉर्ड चैनल ओके यू विल हैव टू क्लिक ऑन दिस एरो बटन क्लिक ऑन दिन सर्वर सेटिंग्स क्लिक ऑन दिस इंटीग्रेशन सेक्शन देन क्लिक ऑन दिस व्यू वेब बुक्स ऑप्शन देन फाइनली क्लिक ऑन दिस न्यू वेब बुक ऑप्शन ओके सो दिस इज हाउ अ न्यू वेब बुक विल बी क्रिएटेड ओके क्लिक ऑन दिस एरो एंड देन फर्स्टली प्रोवाइड द नेम टू योर वेब बुक दैट इज कनेक्शन विद calendly okay i have provided the name now you'll have to click on this copy web book url button and then finally click on this save changes this is how your web book url will be added into the discord and when you will come back remember we have already copied that web book url let me paste to the same okay and now finally it is asking for the message which you would like to send to your team and it is also asking for the bot name bot icon and text to speech okay so i am going to provide the data only to the important fields let us compose the message okay so how about i write something like hello team members okay hello team members a new invitee is just created into our calendly account on the event sorry for the event for the event and here i want that the even event name should appear automatically okay so the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy the event name and paste in the below okay when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down okay let me search for the name of the event that is astrology consultation online okay so i have mapped it now you must be thinking that what is this mapping so whatever the details i will provide manually these details will remain same but whatever the details i'm going to map here these details will be replaced will be changed automatically when this automation will work in next time in real time okay so this is the difference in between providing the value manually and providing the value with the help of mapping okay a new invitee is just created into our calendar account for the event okay and here i'm also going to uh, share the invitee details invitee details are as follows and here i am going to add the email address of the person okay let us add a colon and search for the email with the help of add the rates and i can also share the phone number of the person phone number of the invitee okay let me again search for the phone number of the person and here i have mapped the phone number as well lastly i am also going to map the name of the person let us search for the name which was demo user okay so i think i have provided all the important details just in case if you also want to share the timing basically the start and the end timing start time of event okay of event so here i can also map the start timing and the end timing but the thing is the timing which we have captured is actually into the different format so firstly i will have to convert that timing and then i'll have to map that new converted timing here okay so let me first complete the statement that is end time of event okay and let me show you how you can make this kind of conversation okay so you will have to click on this plus icon firstly all right then search for the date and time formatter feature firstly 
Now select the action event that is format date with time zone. Click on connect. It will be connected immediately. Now you will have to provide that date. Okay. So currently I would like to correct the formatting of the start timing. Okay. So I have mapped it that is resource start timing. Asking from the for the from format which is already the same. Asking for the to format. So I am going to keep it simple that is yymmdd hhmmss. Okay. So I have selected the basic format. Asking for the from time zone and to time zone. Okay. So this timing was actually into the UTC format. Okay. So let me search for the same that is UTC. All right. So here we have the UTC, and here I will write something like Asia Asia slash Kolkata. Okay. So I have searched for the same. Clicking on this button, save and send test request. And this time I am really expecting to be received the same timing. And yes, we have received the, the timing of 10:30. Let us cross check. And yes, we. We have actually scheduled this timing for this event for 10:30 a.m. Okay, so this is how you can convert your start timing. Let me first rename this step in order to avoid any kind of confusion because I am also going to provide the I am also going to convert the end time. Okay, so firstly I will write here as start time, clicking on update. All right. Now in place of adding this date and time formatter feature, date and time formatter step once again from the scratch. I am going to do an interesting thing that is click on this three dot and then click on this copy step and after that again click on this three dot and then click on this paste step and this is how the same step will be cloned will be placed it at below okay let me show you this is the step which we have just pasted okay firstly I am going to rename this step and in place of start timing I will write something like end timing let me also remove this extra data okay so I have done. And clicking on update and that step has been renamed successfully now in place of mapping the start timing in this field i will map the end timing okay because i am converting end timing this time okay end time all right so here we have the end time from format is going to be the same to format will also be the same in fact the from time zone and to time zone will of course be the same clicking on this button and i am expecting the date and time to be of 11 am and yes i have received all the details let us check yes it is actually of 28th of june 11 am and yes it is the same date okay okay so now i can map the start and end timing also here okay so when i will click on this field here you can notice that the recent step data is not visible here okay so i can do one more thing i'll have to click on this connect button once again and then i am going to click on the save button okay well it has not asked for the save it has connected it once again okay let me show you after that when i will click on this send test button when i will click on this start button basically when i will open here you will be able to notice that recent data also okay so i have mapped the start time all right it has got mapped at the incorrect place let me map it at the correct place and here i will press enter and then finally i will map the end date as well end date and time as well okay so where is the end date and time i'll have to check and this is the end date and timing i think i have provided all the important details now i am going to directly click on this button and you will notice that how the message will be arrived on my discord channel okay so you can read it here the message is also arrived already arrived and even the response is received here okay let us read the message hello team members a new invite is just created into our calendar account for the event astrology consultation online event details are as follows here we have the email the phone number and the name of the person and the start time of the event and the end timing of the event okay so this is how now onwards every time a new invitee will be created into our calendly account those invitee details will be shared automatically with your team on discord channel for that you will have to create this automation inside pably connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your public connect account i will also attach this link into my description box so you just need to click on this link and sign up into the public connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your public connect account that to for free
Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.